All right, we've got our chains located on each side. Uh, right chain's got to go to the left side, left chain to the right side, so they must be crossed legally. We've got our breakaway, just connects onto the tow bar, just in case for some reason the hitch comes off or hasn't been hooked on properly. That'll just stretch out, pull the pin out, and that'll put the electric brakes on the caravan, so it doesn't roll away. We've got our electric brake unit there. If you haven't got electric brakes in the car, just let us know. We can hook you up with the adapter, um, and that just runs into the seven pin plug, and we give you a little remote to go inside. Now with the jockey wheel, just basically up, down, handle comes off, so make sure you pull that handle off when you finish with it, throw it in the toolbox. Um, when we're stowing it away, you pull the pin, just pull this out, and that whole jockey wheel slides around, and we'll fold up here. We've got a little pin under here, and that locks into one of these holes, so just make sure it locks into the hole and it's not sitting here and it won't be closed properly. And then we've got another pin on this side that we can pull and lift the jockey wheel up and down for various height cars. Um, so that's all there. We've got our level here on the front. So when we pull up at our caravan spot, first thing you want to do is get this level here, left and right. Uh, our chocks and wheel uh, ramps are located in the front of the, the caravan in here. Um, so that just goes under the wheel and we'll level the van left to right. Make sure the van's level and then we can unhook it off our vehicle and get forward to back, which is this level here, uh, right. So with that, you just do that with the jockey wheel. And then what we want to do is grab our stabiliser bar, um, leg, stabiliser leg bar out of the front toolbox. Walk around to the four corners. All four corners are the same. We just want to take the weight of it, pull the lever, and the stabiliser folds down. There are different levels. So say for instance, there was a bit of a mound here, you couldn't get it all the way down. It will lock into numerous spots on the way up and down. All right, and we just wind them down, they're just stabilizers. So the first thing you want to do is get the van level and then come around and put all your stabilizers out. And that just stops the van from rocking. So as you can see, it moves around a fair bit because of the off-road suspension. So you put all four legs down and that just stops the rocking while people are walking around inside. Moving around, we've got our tap on the front drawer bar. So if you need to wash your feet or hot plate, that sort of thing. In here we've got our gas bottle. So once you've set up the van, next thing you want to do is open your gas bottle. So at the moment, the tap's pointing this way. So that means this bottle is the one we're going to open. So we're going to open that bottle and that'll put gas into the main caravan. Over here on this side, we've got our ground mat. Uh, we've got our door mat. We've got our ground mat. And we've got our hose bags. So there's grey water hose in there. So in this one, we've got two hoses. A little grey one which I'll show you in a minute, hooks up to the kitchen. And then we've got our main black one, which hooks up to the side of the van. We've got our fresh water hose and our power lead in here as well. And we've got a little step stool there and our barbecue plate. And that there is the little handle that I was referring to for the um, stabilizer lead. And it's not in here at the moment, but normally there's our, um, our little ramps and our chocks. At the moment, we've got them out because we had the van parked up. So that's all stored in here. 